It's been three weeks since one Scots left Edinburgh for the long journey to Helmand Province in Afghanistan, where, after a short time to get acclimatised to the new environment, they've started their new role. As their commanding officer, Lieutenant Colonel Charlie Herbert, explains. One Scots battle group uh, is deployed here in Afghanistan in what's known as the Operational Mentoring uh, and Liaison Battle Group, uh, embedded in every element uh, of the Afghan National Army here in central Helmand. What I have is small teams, uh, ranging from between four men up to about 10 or 12 men uh, living with the Afghans uh, in their patrol bases uh, who quite simply patrol with them on a daily basis. They they live with them, uh, they plan alongside them, they rehearse with them, they train with them uh, and then they patrol with them. Many of the soldiers have now deployed to their forward operating bases where they'll live and work for the next six months in challenging and at times difficult situations. But it's a job that many are looking forward to. You've got a very specific role out here which is working in the Ombud teams. How, How do you feel about the role? It's probably one of the best, sort of what we've been told by people that have already done the, the all my, um from all of the other, other regiments. They've said it's like one of the, probably one of the best roles you can do out here in Afghan, um, and I think we're quite lucky to be able to do it. I've been dying to come to Afghanistan for years. This is why I joined the army. I think when, you, when you're back in like Edinburgh, back in your camp, it's not what you think of being in the army, you're just there, you're training, but when you come here, you're doing a real soldier's job, your own operations, you're doing everything for real. It makes it that very exciting. Private Derek Johnson and Lance Corporal John Hoy. But it's not just the troops of one Scots who are happy to be here, as we found out when we spoke to one Afghan soldier. Can you ask this gentleman what his name is? Abdel Basir. Can you ask him how he feels about working with the British troops? He said that when I'm working as an instructor here, I'm happy from them because we're working together with Britain people in here. When, they, for example, I got some problem, I ask him and you find a problem, then he's asking me. So by permission, by the like, discussion of everybody, we can begin teaching them the soldiers in here. We are happy. But it's not all good news. Despite being with your friends, doing a job you love, there are still some things you miss from home. I know you've only been here, is it three weeks you've been here? That's three weeks I've been here, yes. Yeah, three weeks. What what are you missing most about home? Um, I think, to be honest already, I'm missing the rain slightly. I've heard there's snow at home. But uh, no, to be honest, I'm I'm not really missing much at the moment. We're still um, in a place where we're lucky to have internet and, and good communications with friends and family so at the moment not really missing too much but I'm sure there, there will be times to come in the future where we where we miss the home comforts. We're generally glad to be here? Yeah very glad to be here finally. Yeah.